thought I saw something behind you then. <gasps> oh, oh, Simon's head! He's scary enough with the body. <laughs> Only joking, Simon. Like. <laughs> now, as you heard in the film, the Victorians were mad about ghosts. Very good, Connie! <laughs> now, if you're thinking that my disembodied head is a bit of TV magic, you're wrong. It's actually a stage trick that was used over a hundred years ago. It's very echo in here, I tell you. Long before TV was invented. It's very effective, and I'm now going to ask Liz to come over here so that she can put her hand through my head. Oh. Great! Yeah, it's my pleasure. Are you ready? ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I wanted to do this for <laughs> ages. <laughs> Good, it's that's enough. It's very clever, isn't it? It is. Hand through the head, not slapping on the cheeks. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it was invented by a Victorian scientist called Professor Sir John Pepper, and uh, it was used a great deal in theatres all over the place. And not surprisingly, the trick or the illusion was actually called Pepper's Ghost. And this is how it works. The actors had to stand in front of a large pane of glass, which was angled at 45 degrees. Everything else on the stage, all of the background and the cloaks had to be black, and that is because the whole illusion depends on the shining of light. And if it was to shine on anything else other than black, then the whole illusion would be ruined. Now, we don't have a theatre audience here in the Blue Peter studio, but we do have cameras, and this is Suzanne on camera one, who was pointing her camera at my reflection. So, instead of Liz putting her hand through my head, what she was simply doing was jabbing at my reflection. And oh dear me, here she comes again, Liz. <laughs> did I scare you? You did. Oh dear me, quick, take the mask.